broadcaster Channels Television today closed trading at the Nigerian Stock Exchange. Channels Two, Television began the daily reportage of the domestic stock market and the entire financial market in April 1996, just about a year after the broadcaster started operations. The chairman of the Channels Media Group, Mr. John Momo OON, who sounded the closing gong, promised to work with the members and management of the exchange to ensure a vibrant economy. So. Channels Television um, has come a long way, 21 years and counting. And within those 21 years, um, we have laurels and a lot to show for it, and we're very thankful. And we cannot uh, emphasize more the kind of partnership that we have with the Stock Exchange. And this will continue to grow, grow and grow over the years. And I can just assure you that uh, we'll work with you closely uh, and, and to make sure that um, the economy that we all would like to contribute to, you know, becomes very vibrant and even better in the years ahead. Chairman of Channels Media Group, Mr. John Momo OON. African states must look to their own talents and work more closely together if the continent is to progress. This is according to Algeria's Prime Minister while speaking with business leaders at an Algiers investment forum. More than 800 business leaders from 40 African countries are attending an investment forum in Algiers as part of moves to deepen economic ties across the continent. In a keynote speech, Algerian Prime Minister Abdoumalek Selal told the African Investment and Business Forum the continent had to rely on its own ingenuity and skills in order to improve Africans' lives. The three-day meeting, WAS, attended by the World Bank and major financial institutions from Africa and Arab world. Sessions focused on developing the continent's energy, investment finance, infrastructure, agriculture and agribusiness sectors. Host Algeria in July has already moved to boost its business environment. In July, Algeria passed a new law offering tax breaks and cuts to bureaucracy as part of efforts to attract funds to its non-oil sector. Algeria wants to diversify away from oil and gas, which provides 60% of state budget funds, as oil is currently trading at around half the level of mid-2014. Among those attending the forum was Taib Ezraimi. Chief Executive Officer of Agribusiness Group, SIM. The aim of our participation is to forge business relationships with our African friends and brothers. Our African brothers will, I think, be listening and we will be listening to their needs because we have exhibited our products and we're expecting a great deal from this forum, from this meeting. Other participants said they were open to new opportunities across the continent and aimed to deepen existing ties wherever possible. Elsewhere, the UN Humanitarian Coordinator for South Sudan, Eugene Owusu, says there's an urgent need for dialogue and healing in South Sudan. He made this known after he visited the southern Yate town where security has deteriorated rapidly after fighting broke out in the country in July. The United Nations has called for dialogue Reconciliation and healing in Ye, South Sudan, while it says it is intensifying humanitarian support to the people in the region. We urge the governor uh, to ensure that the guns remain silent because the people of Ye clearly, what they need first and foremost is peace. This used to be a breadbasket of, of, of South Sudan. And, and without peace, Ye can never go back to where it used to be. We've agreed that we work very closely on the humanitarian side, but also importantly, on the issue of reconciliation, on the issue of peace, reconciliation, and healing. Owusu's visit took place after a recent tour to Ye by Adama Dieng, a special envoy to the Secretary General on genocide prevention, who warned of a dire and deteriorating situation in the area. On December 2, a UN Commission on Human Rights in South Sudan said ethnic cleansing is taking place in some parts of the country and that the stage is set for a repeat of the Rwandan genocide. We need security and peace. Peace will make people work hard, working in such a way that they will produce whatever they need for their sustenance 
And once people have their own sustenance, even the cry, the cry of the people right away now that the economic situation is harsh will be overcome. Tension and insecurity remain high in Ye, where most shops remain closed and homes deserted as people fear for their safety. The World Food Programme warned last week that some 3.6 million people in South Sudan face severe food shortages, the highest levels ever experienced at harvest time. The terms dialogue and development have been suggested as tools which the Nigerian government can deploy to completely defeat the insurgents. And that's according to the Pakistani Chief of Air Staff, Air Marshal Suhail, a man who was speaking at a security forum in Abuja. He said this approach will ensure insurgents are effectively weakened in the country's northeast region while development initiatives are being implemented. The Pakistani Chief of Air Staff, Air Marshal Sohail Aman, is on an official visit to Nigeria for a series of collaboration and exchange with Nigeria on security and defense. The National Defense College is taking advantage of this official visit to take a look at the Pakistan experience of over 15 years in their fight against terrorism and insurgency to see lessons Nigeria may learn. Countering insurgency and terrorism has become the focal issue of our security institution. The lecture we help the college build its knowledge base on the effective use of air power to enhance counter-insurgency operations in our country. Highlighting tactics the Pakistani defense has utilized over the years in their efforts to stamp out terrorists from the country, Air Marshal Aman says deterrence, dialogue and development are three steps that must go together. First is deter, and the deterrence is through absolutely hard kill and making sure that you, you get rid of the bad guys. It needs intelligence, ISR, it needs uh, human, it needs precision targeting day in, day out. But then when it comes to dialogue, the cultures of tribes are a lot different. And you have to understand those. Without really creating ripples in the culture, you have to make sure that the dialogue takes place. And that's the process which is on these days. And then development. You fight a war like that, and generally people wash their hand off and move away. He says the terrorist tactics change regularly, and so must the strategies used to hunt them down, such as real-time intelligence, accurate surveillance, quick response, and precision strikes. Omelogo Nadi Channels Television News. And that's our program today. Thank you so much for being a part of it. I am BC Adebayo.